All right, so let's escape from Mount and tear our opponent's leg to shreds. I'm gonna do that by scooting two times in this direction, away from the camera, while also blasting Deontay in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna straight up chest palm, palm chest. That doesn't make any sense. Gut check. Gut check. That sounds cool, I think. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it out. I'm going to scoot my right foot away from you guys while also gut checking D in the chest as hard as I can. Now I'm actually gonna scoot twice while I do this off of my right foot. So it'll look like this. One, two. Okay? Now I do this because typically with one scoot, it's just not quite enough to get where I want. One scoot, D still got balance. Two scoots, now all of a sudden that leg really comes out. And again, I'm pushing him this way to take his weight which, that was previously on this knee uh, over to the other side. Scooting twice also makes it really easy for me to get my elbow inside Deontay's leg. That's essential for making space for my knee to shoot through, which is the next step. Spoiler alert. I guess. Now from this position where I've scooted twice, I need to trap Deontay's leg and make sure he does not get it back. Now in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is to slide my bottom leg knee in up between his legs whoop, and shoot that into him right there. Now I have a shin to push into him to keep him back there. Now my other leg, my foot, is gonna clamp up on his hip violently. And now I have two things to push into him in case he gets any bright ideas and decides he wants to punch me in the face. Of course, I'm trapping all this in tight, pushing my armpit on his foot. Now all I have to do is finish this heel hook. Let no one off the hook. Pun intended. Now even if you already know how to throw a heel hook, I have some tricks and secrets that'll make this move as disgusting and devastating as it can possibly be. So enjoy. All right, now here's where we can start unlocking every single bit of disgusting potential from this little sequence. So a heel hook is what's known as a twisting ankle lock, meaning quite simply that if I clamp D's upper leg in place and I twist his lower leg and his heel, that's what applies the move tearing his ankle ligaments and then his knee ligaments, or sometimes his knee ligaments first. You never know. Now in order to heel hook anybody, you have to have a bent leg. So when I clamp my foot up on D's hip, if his leg is straight, I'm gonna drive my knee over violently this way to put a bend in his leg. Now at the same time that I'm driving this over, I'm actually going to push down with my armpit on his toes, flexing my abs to the side that increases the angle of the bend in his leg. So here with Deontay's leg straight, I can't even reach back and grab a heel. There's no heel to grab. Clamp this, push this over. Now I have a very easy bite on the guy's heel. Once you have that, the mayhem can begin. But first. Now before I teach you the destructive and diabolical part of this move, I want to show you something that's going to help you at higher levels of heel hooking. I want you to be the best hooker that you can be. While I want to bend Deontay's leg by clamping and driving this knee down, and while I usually want to squeeze my legs together to keep his upper leg in place so I can rotate the bottom of it, I don't want to send him into his escape. So an advanced guy to get out of a heel hook, when I go to apply this thing, he's gonna turn and spin in the same direction that I'm applying the heel hook. So if I over clamp this knee, and if I really drive this down and try to squeeze my knees together, I'm sending him into his escape, and we don't wanna do that. So the moment I get my foot clamped on the guy's hip, I get enough of a leg bend to finish the heel hook, and then all of my force with this foot goes down into the mat. I don't keep sending him this way. It's here and clamped, and now if he tries to escape, that's fine. That's all the delay that I'm gonna need in order to finish this move violently. So we sacrifice some of the bend and some of the isolation and squeeze of the upper leg in order to make the move harder to escape, which is a fair trade-off if you know the best way to apply your heel hook. Now all heel hooks are going to rotate your opponent's foot and ankle, and most people are going to do that by reaching back and grabbing